function and the alarm test procedure for ODME. The ODME installed on board is of the model Sail Series ODME S3000, which should be tested for the function and alarms every month, and the record should be made in the oil record book. The alarm testing procedure and the function test procedure consists of different alarm points. First we will check the 30 liters per nautical mile exceeding, then we will check the operating of the valves, overboard discharge valves, for the total oil exceeding the limit. Then we will check the speed alarm and we will check the PPM exceeding alarm. Before checking the monthly test for ODV, we will check the pneumatic walls manually from the foam room. To test manually the pneumatic walls, you have to go inside the cabinet in the foam room where the walls are connected by the hoses and by the push buttons. To manually operate the valve, you have to push, <coughs> push the button and check the proper operation of the valve outside. Then you can release. cabinet outside, we have the manual piston valves which should be tested. If you push the button inside the foam room, you will see how the valves are operated here. Outside, you have also the smaller box for ODME, which is called protection cover for two-way pneumatic valve. Inside the box, you have three valves, same piston valves, for three different sampling points. The two sampling points are for the ballast water, port and starboard side, and the one is for the sampling from the ODME overboard discharge. You can see this sampling point is open now. These valves also need to be checked with the changing the value of sampling point on the control unit of ODME inside the CCR. After manually testing the pneumatic valves outside, we can uh, proceed to the control unit inside the CCR to test the alarms. First we will test the 30 liters per nautical mile exceeding alarm. To enter the menu on the control unit, you have to push input button. Now you have different parameters in the menu, which you can change manually. So we will change the oil concentration. This is PPM number 3. So we enter by pushing the button 3. And we push the button manual, which is 1. And then we enter the oil concentration of 700, 
50 ppm. If we made the mistake, we can push the key free and re-enter. When you finish, you push the input button and then you can change the other parameter. So now we will change the parameter of flow rate to make it 200 cubic meters per hour. The flow rate is number 5. Again we go to manual and we change to 200 cubic meters per hour. We push input button to save and we change the parameter speed, which is number 4. We go to manual, then we put the speed of 5 knots. And we put the GPS signal in auto mode. When we're ready, we put the input button and we save the parameters by pushing the save button. So now to check the 30 liters per nautical mile alarm, we go to monitoring mode. You can see the parameters of 750 ppm and uh, 5 knots. So you get the alarm and you can read on the screen liters per nautical mile exceed. Then you have to go to standby mode to check other alarms. When you go to standby mode, the alarm will disappear. The next alarm we will test is total oil exceeding alarm. By this alarm we will also test the operation of the valves. And uh, with these parameters we will have first 24 liters per logical mile and the valve will be open. After approximately one minute the total oil limit will exceed the permitted parameters and uh, the valve will be closed. For testing this alarm we go to menu by pushing the input button. Then we go to total oil limit which is number 6. And we change it manually to 2 liters. Save by button input. Then we change the reset total oil, which is number 7. We reset it to 0. And we save by input button. The PPMs we will change to 600 PPM. And the other parameters like flow rate and speed will remain the same from the first alarm check. The flow rate should be 200 cubic meters per hour and the speed will be 5 knots. By these parameters we will get, the, during the monitoring mode, the permission to discharge because the limit will be 24 liters per nautical mile. So we save the parameters by pushing the button save and we can proceed to monitoring mode. Now you can see on the screen that this is 24 liters per nautical mile. Just a moment. You can see it's 24 liters per nautical mile. And then uh, the discharge is permitted. On the Aconis screen, you can see the operation of the valves.
When you get the 24 liters per nautical mile, the ODME allows the discharge. It opens the overboard valve CO030 and it closes the slope return valve CO029. After approximately one minute, the oil limit exceeds the permitted parameters of two liters and the valve will start, the discharge valve will start closing and the return valve will start opening. The alarm is sounded on the ME. The discharge overboard valve is being closed and the return valve to slot is being opened. On the control panel of ODME, you will get the total oil limit exceeded alarm. As you can see, the total oil is 2 liters of maximum. Get the alarm on the screen of total oil exceeded. The next screen will show you this alarm. When you go to standby mode, the alarm will disappear. The next alarm we are going to test is the low speed alarm. So we will need to input all the values to automatic mode except speed value which will be zero. We enter the menu and we change all the parameters to auto by pushing the auto button. And we save by input button. Set the total oil to zero, not to get the total oil exceeding alarm, and we put the speed, which is number four. To zero knots on the manual mode. The GPS is on auto and we save by input button. To save the overall, we push the save button, then you have all the parameters in auto mode, except the speed parameter. When you proceed to monitoring mode, you will get the alarm of low speed. On the screen you will get the message Mode. Next alarm we will test is the PPM exceeding alarm. We will push all the parameters in auto mode except PPMs. We will make them 999 PPM, which is the maximum value. For this purpose we enter the menu by pushing the input button. We change parameter speed, which is number 4, to auto. And GPS is also auto. Save by input. And then we change the PPMs, which is number 3. Go to manual, and we change to 999 PPM. Save by input button. We go to main menu by, by saving and pushing the save button. And proceeding to monitoring mode. Now on the screen you will get the this PPMs are maximum. You will get the alarm of PPM exceeding. On the next screen you will see the alarm PPM range exceeding. To release the alarm, you have to go to the standby mode and uh, the alarm will disappear.
After we have tested all the alarms, we have to make the manual calibration. So we go to menu by pushing the input button. We change all the parameters, PPMs and all other parameters to automatic. We save by input button and then we will proceed to calibration mode by pushing the button C. You can see calibration is C. So we go to calibration. To start the calibration, we push the enter button. And now we have 16 cycles of calibration, during which we have to test the, check the pneumatic valve outside for the proper operation. Yeah. Outside we check the operation of the pneumatic valve. The water is normally supplied to the pump. And then we check the operation of these two pneumatic valves. The one is open now and uh, briefly it will be closed and this one will be open. You can see now. And also you need to check that the fresh water is coming out and there are no leakages. After the calibration is completed, the whole test of ODME is completed. All these alarms which we tested are also printed by the ODME printer and saved. And also you will need to make the record in the oil record book under the code letter O.